It, it depends on what you're trying to do. Um, if wall thickness is important, then yeah, you have to go through, and in this case, like in this example here, where, <clears throat> of course now all my stuff is going to come back that I hid. Um, in this example here, if, if this thing was 15 feet long, I'm not going to want to send this as a solid part because the rapid prototyper is going to kill me because this whole thing is going to be filled with resin and I'm going to use a million gallons of resin. But this is tiny, so I, I wanted it solid because I wanted it to be strong because in this case this is actually a toy car and I wanted to be able to shoot it around a track without it breaking. So this is okay solid. If this was, say, a 24th scale or this was like 10 or 11 inches long, I may want to go through and actually mesh this or make a little hole on the bottom, mesh it solid with the offset, you know, mesh it and then offset the mesh with the solid so that it's wall, that it's open. And I may even want to do the one more step where I go and I split the thing down the middle and, and you know, make two halves. In this case, I could even do that with this model if I just, if I just took half of this thing out and I got to trim off this front end here. But if I, if I wanted this to be a wall thickness part, I could mesh this <clears throat> like this, and then I could offset this mesh. I want to go the other way, so I'm going to go negative. Oh, football, there we go. And in this case, I can't go that much of a wall thickness because it will mess up. So then I can say OK. And you'll notice what it did was it created the wall thickness for me. So now when I print this, all this stuff, they can print this thing sitting like this and it's going to, this will just fill with support but it won't be solid. So then all I have to do for my two halves, since this is a symmetrical part, is this. So now I've got a part with wall thickness. And Cosmos, this actually may be really helpful for you because some of the stuff that you're printing is going to be big. And you don't want to you don't want to hand somebody uh, Cosmos does set design for the film industry. And so he doesn't want to hand somebody a prop that weighs 40 pounds. Right? So this this may be an option for you is to just take one half of the thing open, mesh it as an open mesh, offset it solid to the inside, now you've got wall thickness. All right. So this is a way to deal with that, and obviously you want to make sure it passes all your checks and everything, and I think this should. Let's just check it. Yeah, so we're good. All right. So this is a great, this is a great trick um, for getting wall thickness stuff if you're really lazy like I am and hate building wall thickness.